What's up, guys? I'm the black one here, and uh, this is episode 14, I believe, of our Minecraft Let's Play. Let's go ahead and um, finish up this wheat farm. So I've got the pistons all hooked up. Uh, this time for the decorative block behind the switch, I decided to use a iron ore. <laughs> that is likely to change because knowing me, I'll probably want it. So anyway, as you can see, the pistons extend fine, and they retract fine. So what we're going to do is, um, I figured out a way to do this. So we're going to have blocks here, like so. And you know what, let's actually have these as like, something else. Do I have any other kind of block? Let's go see. Let's go see if I have some wood down here. See how useful that is? Let's use, let's use four of these. How about that? Um, is that too loud? Hopefully this stuff isn't too loud for you guys. I had to uh, do, replace my jar and do a couple things since last time. Um, had some Java issues, which was loads of fun, let me tell you. <laughs> okay, so that extends perfect. Now, um, the problem is, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have the water here. And the problem with having the water here is that I'm going to need a block here. And the only bad thing about having a block here is that you need a block above wheat for it to grow. At least I think you do. I've never been able to grow wheat in a one tall area, it seems. It needs it needs space like this. So, um, a way around that is using a transparent block, like glass, or honestly you can use pistons as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put two of, er, we'll put three of these of glass there, but we're going to leave one out because I need to get back there so I can put the water in. Matter of fact, let's just do that right now. So we'll put one water there. I'll run the water. And then after we get this finished, uh, we'll go ahead and replant it. And then I guess we'll have to find something else to do today, huh? Let's see, how's that? I'm just going to close it so it makes an infinite water source in there. I'm going to go back and take it. Take this one, put it here, and go ahead and flip this up, and that should be perfect. But I'll put dirt here, just in case this time. Oh, I didn't do it right, did I? Oh, well, you know what, that's as, that's as close as we're going to get it, so it looks like it was one block short, but... Um, I'm not gonna worry about it because this isn't my this isn't my main design. This is a temporary farm that I'm building right now, and uh, I just want to you know have some sort of functionality down or uh, functioning wheat farm down here for now. I will be making. I know I keep saying that I will, I will, I will. But, uh, these things take time. It's not an overnight thing. Building up a Minecraft world. Anybody who's played Minecraft knows this. It is a very gradual process, and one that you have to be patient with. So I appreciate you all being patient with me, and hopefully you stay and watch out. You know, at least some of my videos, the good ones. Say the good ones, how about that? <laughs> okay, so we're going to get our wheat planted here, and then um, I haven't quite decided what I want to do today. Uh, we've done a lot of, we've been down here a lot for these past couple episodes. Maybe we'll go up go up and uh, go do do some exploring outside. I feel like we've been down here inside for forever, it seems. So yeah, there's our um, temporary wheat farm, another one, surprise, surprise. And uh, we'll go from there. We definitely need some more lumber. So maybe I'll do that when I'm up top too. So let me go put the things that I need to put back in the chests. Put those in there. Put these, that back in there. Oh, look at that. I brought down three more chests with me. Okay. So we're going to add three more chests to... Let's see. What's this? Oh, these are ores. So we're definitely going to add another big chest to the ores. And then this is what? The dirt and gravel. So I'm going to go ahead and start separating those. We'll put the uh, dirt 
in another one. This one right here. I like I like to keep some on me because it's a good um, temporary block for scaffolding and whatnot. Ooh, it's it's thunder. It's thunder, thundering. And there's a thunderstorm outside. <laughs> thundering. Um, I'm sorry if I sound a little bit congested. Uh, I think I have allergies. I usually don't get them, but um, it is. Everything's blooming here, so that could be what's going on. All right, so instead of wasting more of your time, I'm going to go ahead and cut the video here and figure out something to do. Okay, so um, I did some tree harvesting, and I also explored a bit. Or no, uh, sorry. I'm going to explore a bit, but I also did some mining. Um, like I said down there, we haven't been outside in a long time. Uh... Pretty much all the footage you've seen, and even in between that footage, I've been down there in that cave. So, being out here is kind of nice. Uh, and you know what? I totally forgot one thing that I was going to bring. I'll go get that. This is what I forgot to get. Was it a pair of shears? Give me that wool. Okay. So now what we're going to do is go ahead and just go explore the northern section of our map. Um, we got most of the southern section. There's still a couple pieces missing here and there. But overall, we pretty much got the, uh, the whole map down there. So now we're just going to run around and explore up here. That's really loud. Okay. Okay, so perfect. There's some cows over here, which is good. Um, that means we will eventually... I will be making an animal farm eventually. Um, one that's separated and has them organized. Obviously, if they're going to be separated. And uh, I will also have what I like to call <laughs> a psychedelic farm, which is basically a farm with every color of sheep. There it is. Uh, that's one of my favorite things. That, well, that was one of my favorite things in this other world I played in, so I'll definitely be putting it in this world too, because uh, it's just fun to walk in and see all the different colored sheep. <laughs> At least I think so. Um, so while I'm running around here, I'm going to try to run my mouth, if you can't tell already. Oh, look at that. An ocelot. Too bad I don't have any fish. Oh, well. Ooh, that's cool over there. Anyway, what I'm going to be doing, um, so let's see, we're on episode 14 already, and uh, I've been thinking about how long this LP is actually going to go on for. And, you know, sometimes people do, they'll play an LP until... They do the dragon, or until you know, un or until they just can't figure out anything else to do. If there's no more content that they think that they can put into this world, or into their world, and uh, you know, I have a feeling that that might happen to this LP because I have a lot of ideas that I've done before, but I don't really know if if you know how long those ideas will last. So what I've been thinking is I'll keep this LP going as long as I can. Um, I think we should have a goal, and I think our goal should be to have automated farm, automated farms of just about every, of everything we possibly can. This is a really cool overhang, isn't it? Um, but yeah, automated farms of everything we can, um, like a, maybe a semi-automated sheep farm or things like that. Just things that you may not necessarily see all the time, um, and that's something I think that would be pretty cool to accomplish. Um, another thing that I was thinking of is, uh, maybe once we get to the Ender Dragon, or towards the end of the series, um, I'll start doing more tutorial videos, just simple tutorial videos. I might do them in this LP world, or maybe in the Super Flat Creative world, where, or my Super Flat Creative world, where I, ha where I have all the different, uh, some of the different circuits and stuff that I've built. Some of those circuits take quite a bit of resources, so that's that's why I want to have you know automated farms of just about everything that I possibly can. Um, let's see, I don't really know what else to say. <laughs> School's ending soon for me. Totally irrelevant to my gaming channel. Well, not totally irrelevant. I haven't been posting on Facebook and stuff as much lately because I've been busy with gearing up for finals. But my finals are done this next week. My last day of school is actually on the 4th. So I am extremely excited about that. Ready to have a summer off of school. 
Um, I'm probably gonna just get another job and then, you know, do my LP videos in the summer. And hopefully it'll all work out. That also means I'll have more time to work on these videos in the summer. And, uh, in, you know, in doing that, I'll, I'll be able to have more edited videos, probably more entertaining videos than the one that I'm doing right now. Because this one is pretty boring. I'll make sure and put a disclaimer at the start of this episode saying that this is not the most exciting episode. But, uh, yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying these LPs. It seems like some of you are. Um, it seems like some of you are getting some good ideas from these LPs. And uh, that is the point, is to share knowledge. Um, I really, I mean, it's nice seeing that view counter go up. Uh, it's, it's motivation to keep doing these videos. Because otherwise, why spend, you know, two, three hours making and editing a video and have, you know, four views on it? It's just kind of, kind of feels like it's not worth it if, it if it was like that. But, you know, the views seem to be alright. But the most important thing is that other people are using and seeing these videos for their benefit. And that's pretty much what I'm going for. Um, I'm going to go ahead and finish exploring because you guys are probably sick of me running my mouth. And uh, I'll let you know if I find anything cool. Look what we found! A village! You know, I have had the hardest time finding villagers um, in recent days. And uh, it seems as if our ex exploration efforts have paid off. Because here are some villagers. Yay! Hallelujah. <laughs> oh, they're funny little things, aren't they? This is a pretty small village. It's not anything big. I wonder if the priest is home. Well, I don't see one. Um, villagers will now reproduce in... Uh, oh, no, I think... He, he, that's the blacksmith outfit. I don't know why... I don't see the blacksmith anywhere. Huh. Maybe, they, maybe they're just automatically spawned with that sometimes. Oh, and they can also open and close doors, if you can just tell. Um, but yeah, now they can reproduce, depending on how many houses are near near there. Or, you know, in their village. <laughs> Look at this little table. <laughs> yeah, grass in your house. I mean, I'll, I'll take that out for you. Why not? Cool. Um, I will make sure that I know this place on the map, which is right there. You kind of see it in the top left corner. I'll turn in circles so you can kind of see the icon. Hope that's not making any of you sick. Um, Alright, well, I will definitely be back here. Definitely. Um, because of the fact that villagers can now make iron golems. And with that comes free iron. If you know how to make uh, correct farming. Um, well, correct farm for that. So, I'll be back there eventually. But that's a, that's a big project. And that's a project for another day when I have much more, much more done, much more accomplished. <laughs> okay, well, um, I think I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. This episode was a boring one, indeed. It was not meant to be exciting. I knew it wasn't going to be exciting when I started it, but alas, I digress. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Um... Let me show you what I got real quick. I got a couple lily pads and pretty much wool. Those are the only things I got from that exploration. And we also found that village, which you just saw a couple seconds ago. So, other than that, I hope you enjoyed the episode. Next time, we will be doing something more interesting. Uh, a lot of you guys have been talking about me doing redstone and redstone farms. So, I, I will be doing one of those in the very near future. I will. I promise. And it'll be a big one. Well, bigger than the ones that we have now. So, I won't let you down. I promise. Uh, other than that, maybe like and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, it helps me get new viewers and all that jazz. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.